morning. Uh, today we're going, to, uh, we're announcing uh, um, this LED uh, camera project. We call it uh, Safe Cleveland uh, project. And so um, what it is has two components. One is LED lighting as a sustainability approach to uh, street lighting, LED lighting. Uh, these lights will um, have greater illumination and they will have technology on them that will allow us to raise or lower that illumination depending on what's needed. Uh, also, they have the ability to do other things. One of those things is that they can have a camera system associated with it. And that's the public safety side. So we have uh, sustainability, uh, more illumination on the streets, and we have a public safety component with uh, around a thousand cameras. And those cameras will be located uh, within a thousand feet of a rec center or um, uh, a major park like over here, Carouge Park. Uh, those, the location of those cameras uh, have been determined by the police as to where they believe there are hot spots in need for, for these cameras. Now this is a, a very unique project as I'm told by the Commissioner of Clean Public Power, that Cleveland is the first and only city that has both components. Uh, we're changing 61,000 street lights uh, to what they are now, to LED, and we're putting cameras up in association with those, with that technology for public safety. The camera part is really a phase one, uh, and if we will engage in phase two or three or four, whatever we need to do as time goes on. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's a $35 million project uh, as it currently exists with uh, all of the 61,000 LEDs and uh, the uh, 1,000 cameras. Uh, I'm told that it will take um, 18 months for full installation. Uh, we've done a pilot here in Ward 1. I believe they've done 500 uh, LEDs, some cameras associated with that, uh, and we're um, another pilot in War 13 on the west side, uh, and, uh, and I don't know if they did cameras in association with that. But each speaker will give you the specifics of, of their particular area. The chief will talk about safety, uh, Director Davis from Utility will talk about the technology, uh, and uh, Siemens will talk about what they are talking about as the contractor. So now, um, as I said, $35 million, uh, and you know, uh, the administration just can't spend money because we want to, right? Uh, we have to get uh, approval, appropriation of those dollars in order for that to occur. And the council is the appropriating authority. And what they have done is given us the ability, authority, to spend $35 million in bond proceeds uh, for this project. And in order for that to happen, of course, they were briefed on the details of what to expect by giving us that appropriation authority. So I want to introduce you to Council President Kevin Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, Mayor, thank you for embarking on this, this bold journey for us. This is a great day for Cleveland, Ohio. When you go about the business of neighborhood revitalization and strengthening neighborhoods, you start by making the neighborhood clean, make it safe, and make it bright. And we're here today to make our neighborhoods bright and to make them safe, and they're, we're already working on the cleanliness. They're already clean. But um, when we think about what is going to attract people to a neighborhood, what's going to attract both residents and businesses to neighborhoods. It's that sense of keeping the neighborhood bright and keeping it safe. And this project has been you know, discussed for a long time, and as the mayor said, it's $35 million, so we weren't going to rush into anything. It took a, a, a time to do some piloting, to really roll the project out correctly. But as we move forward today, the city is going to see a tremendous uh, improvement in its illumination, and the cameras are going to be a tremendous uh, tool for public safety to keep our neighborhoods safe as well. Um, in addition to all the, the studies that public safety did in terms of placement of the cameras, every commander has been in touch with the council person to, to really get a sense of what's happening on the ground locally, of where the hot spots are, and where is the camera should be placed. So they're going to have a very unique local role of, of where that 
of where the cameras are placed. But the takeaway, when, eight, when 18 months is done, I'm very confident that, that our city will be safer, it will be brighter, it will be cleaner, and it will be that step that we need towards revitalizing our neighborhood. So I uh, appreciate everybody being here. And uh, we are in Ward 1. And I want to introduce my colleague, Councilman Joe Jones, who is the Councilman of Ward 1, who's been working on this project uh, since he got back to council. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. President. I would just want to take the opportunity to thank the mayor of the city of Cleveland as well as the president of city council for their leadership and their commitment and dedication in making sure that we get this kind of investment in our community. It's a significant investment. Uh, $35 million is not something to sneeze at. And when you look at brightening the entire neighborhood up and putting security cameras in the community, uh, that will help to make a difference as it relates to deterring crime. And as many of you are aware, there is a lot of issues, and I think that this will go a long way of trying to take care of some of those problems and those issues that are happening in our community. And I also just want to just take the opportunity to thank uh, the staff that we've been working with um, in and out through the process of all of this and um, uh, them giving me the information on just how smart the LED lighting system is. It's technically a platform, so you can start adding newer technologies onto the system as you move down the road and as newer technologies are made available uh, that will assist in uh, making sure that our city is safer uh, and um, certainly techno technology is the spot shotter. So we certainly look forward to this uh, being installed in War One, being the first communities. I'm very excited about this and I, I just want to thank everyone who is assembled here today to make that become a reality. Thank you all. Thank you, Councilman, and good morning. I'm Robert Davis, Director of Public Utilities for the City of Cleveland, and we are excited to be here today to kick off the Safe Smart CLE project. Uh, Cleveland Public Power has been working on this for several years, testing different types of LED technology to determine what would be best for the City of Cleveland. As a result of these efforts, we are positioned to embark upon $35 million project. As Mayor Jackson mentioned, we will upgrade approximately 61,000 streetlights with smart photo cells and adaptive controls to give us the ability to turn on, off, dim, and provide outage management and move away from the complaint-driven system that is in place today. More specifically, uh, the project and technology will provide a brighter, uh, cleaner light that will improve visibility on our streets and use 50 to 60 percent less energy than the traditional sodium street lights and reduce maintenance costs as well. More importantly, support the increased safety and more cameras in our neighborhoods. As Mayor Jackson stated, this big project will give us and take approximately 18 months to complete. Uh, and in order to effectively complete the citywide LED street light installation, CPP contractors will follow a systematic approach, ward by ward, block by block deployment. Uh, to ensure a successful conversion, our contractors will be required to fully complete and meet all quality control standards in each ward before moving to the next ward. Uh, there will be no interruption in your electric service while uh, we are completing the installations. Uh, when in your neighborhoods, uh, you'll see trucks and you'll see uh, installations going on. Uh, all major thoroughfares and lanes and traffic may be closed. However, there will be no major closures in the streets or rerouting of any traffic. Residents can track the progress of our project online. We recently improved CPP's website, uh, and so you can go and track the progress of uh, what's going on there, and you can go to www.cpp.org or call 216-664-4600 with any type of questions regarding our LED project. Additionally, uh, we will be posting regular 
uh, updates through social media uh, as well. Uh, with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Chief Williams, who talk a little bit more in detail about safety. Thank you very much. Thank you, Director. Good morning, or afternoon. Uh, the uh, part I love about Safe Smart CLE is that it brings not only the the sector of lighting the city, uh, but also of securing the city. And as we know, light and visibility, uh, things like that, are the enemy of crime and disorder. So I'd like to thank Mayor Jackson and the administration for having the vision and foresight to not only light up the city uh, with the 61,000 camp, uh, I'm sorry, lights that they're going to place throughout the city, but pairing that with a camera program like you see in most major urban areas like New York and Chicago and San Francisco. Uh, this is the first part of that. Uh, the mayor is going to announce later on this year, hopefully, uh, another technology piece that brings all that further together uh, from the safety standpoint as it relates to fighting violent crime in the city, which is our number one uh, issue here that we're going to tackle uh, in the years to come. So stay tuned for those announcements. Again, that will bring together uh, the lighting program in the city, the camera program in the city, and some other technology pieces from the Division of Police and Pro Department of Public Safety that make this city safer, that indeed go to safe, smart CLE. And with that said, I'm going to bring up our Siemens rep. All right. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Gautam Linganagari. I know it's a weird last name, but deal with it. <laughs> so I'm from Siemens, from Austin, Texas. Uh, we are, me and my team are responsible for similar projects across the United States. So we've been doing this for a long time now, and we are really happy to be here and working with the city of Cleveland. Um, I know that Siemens is also known for many other stuff we do. We do a lot of traffic management systems. Uh, we do energy savings. We do connected vehicles. But the projects like these is what really we pride ourselves in. Because this gives us a unique opportunity to work with the community, with the cities, and bring the latest and greatest in the technology to develop an ecosystem. Because this is step one. And then we can add to this, we can bring more technology to make the energies efficiency, but also more safety. And also we can make sure that the cities are smarter. Um, I, we have done these projects in many other places, but I want to refer to one particular project we are wrapping up in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, the city published a, a paper last, I believe, Monday, saying that they have saved over $275,000 in the last 18 months we've been swapping these lights. That's a 70% reduction in the electricity bill they have seen, and we've only done 35,000 lights over there. So I'm really excited to see what we can do here for Cleveland, and uh, I, we understand and we are savvy, uh, we, are, we know that this is a taxpayer money, so we are really... Uh, we have a best project management team. We have the right resources here. So we'll make sure that you see, and we will deliver the project in the 18 months. And uh, we hope you enjoy the savings you will see. Thank you. Is it question and answer time? Okay. All right. Questions? Yes, sir. What are they going to do for my privacy on my, I think I'm calling an avenue as far as the cameras get privacy on my property. I don't know about that. The cameras are going to be put in what they call hotspot areas. So wherever there, the police believe there's a lot of crime. They're uh, prohibited from, uh, Fourth Amendment rights uh, prohibits them from doing things in regards to private property like a, a look into your house or doing things like that. So those kind of things will not occur. Okay. No, now we're going to go to the media. I'm going to ask you second, answer your second question. Okay. No, but no, do your second question. Oh, okay. Um, part of that street goes right there. Of course, um, I get a lot of activity from the west side, people coming over to this mm -hmm. side for hair rods and stuff like that. Right. What is that going to do as far as the license plate? At least these cars that's coming down my street right. the first of the month, and like today, right. the first of the month, I'm going to have a lot of activity today. Mm -hmm. So what is that camera going to do for tracking those license plates? Right. 
Because like I said, I listened to the mayor said about violent crime. Right. That's obvious. If I see somebody violent, right. the camera's going to... Now, let me, let me point out to you. So, uh, it, I don't know if there's going to be a camera on your street. The police will decide as to where they put the cameras. But I'll let the chief explain to you uh, how this works. Because part of, you know, people do things in dark. And, and so, uh, once you uh, light up the streets and be like daylight at night, then it makes it, you know, people kind of hesitate to go to that particular area in order to do what they're wrong, right? And so we're hoping that that will deter, that will deter. And since we're doing it in Ward 1 first, and this area around Cruz Park is one of the first areas, we will look and see the effectiveness of that. But Chief, do you want to answer that? But that's the purpose of what we're doing. Yes, sir. To, to answer your first question also, uh, cameras will be placed in the right-of-way. Uh, they're not going to be on private property unless there's a property that we get permission from an owner, like a huge business that we're having issues, and we get permission from that owner to place the cameras uh, somewhere on or near their property. Uh, your second question, uh, part of the technology piece that I talked about earlier that's going to plug into this later on uh, is a license plate reader system. And that will assist the district detectives, the vice guys, and narcotics guys, and those plates and people that are coming in and out of our city that are kind of doing things they shouldn't be doing. So that will assist them in their investigations, along with some other things that we're putting together that, again, the mayor will announce sometime this fall. All right. And, and I much uh, so you know, these cameras are, if I'm understanding them right, are not permanently fixed. So if... if uh, if things uh, begin to clear up in one hot spot and another one develops, then, then we, can, we can move them around, which uh, helps in that regard. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Well, Ward 1, it was, we're piloting Ward 1 and Ward 13. The, I'm told the purpose of that is to test the infrastructure the, because there are some towers associated with this transmission of signals and things. And in order to determine if it's working properly, they want to do one on one extreme and do somewhere on the west side to make sure it is functioning. And, and so um, that's the pilot. Then um, I'm told that they will do Ward 1, then they'll go to another ward. And each ward they choose will be based on testing the infrastructure, the system, to see if the system working properly. Did I say this right? Okay, so that's the purpose. Um, so the picking of the wards was really around uh, the ability to test the technology. One thing we didn't want to do, spend $35 million, the contract is gone, and then we got issues. And so what we hired was a project manager who works, who represents the city of Cleveland, the taxpayers, and their job is to keep us, the city, and the contractor on task and to test it at every phase to make sure it's functioning properly. So that's the reason why it started here. And then they'll finish one, then they'll go to another ward. And that's Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, we won't tell you where we put the cameras. We won't do that. But we will tell you that uh, uh, they are identified by the police, and the police will, uh, and there is uh, uh, some input by council members as to information they've gotten that they give to the commander of the districts. But no, we won't be. I will tell you, however, that in Carouge Park, we did a pilot on cameras. And so there are already a significant number of cameras in uh, Cruise Park that will tie into this system that's not part of the ones that, that, we're, paying 30, uh, that, uh, that we're paying this $35 million for the LED and the camera. So Cruise Park already has uh, some cameras, significant number of them. Anybody else? Well, I thank you very much. Thank you.